Hey, this is Al Williamson with LeadingLandlord.com and I want to talk to you about the Airbnb algorithm for extended stay midterm rentals. Okay, so I used to use Airbnb as my safety net. That was something that I would do all the time. I, I'm a direct booking type of person. I like to focus on just booking directly with a business to business or directly with customers. And now when that doesn't work, such as the bottom of 2022, when there was an all-time slow season, even for extended stays, I went to Airbnb, tried to get it to work for me, and it didn't. So I started doing some research to figure out what was going on. And one thing I came across was Sean Rockajich's re-algorithm webinar. So I enrolled in that, I paid for that, and I wanted to listen to that specifically for how it affected midterm rentals. And then I did my own experiments and this is what I found out. So one thing is this pointed out and that most people know is that Airbnb looks at three factors, your price, your quality, and your availability. But this particular video, we're just going to be talking about price. And for us, it used to be that you would just flip on instant book if you needed to fill your, your midterm rental and you would find a booking. <laughs> That's how it used to be when times were good. But when demand is low, you need to do more than that. You need to do more than just flip on instant book. You need to adjust your price closer to what Airbnb predicts that your price should be. That was an eye opener for me. And that's what I want to get through to you. Now, what I'm about to share with you is specifically for midterm rentals. And it's for when you're motivated to fill something, to fill your units. So if you're doing a rental arbitrage, and that rent's coming due, that's coming close to the first of the month, then you are motivated. You need to cover your expenses. And when demand is low, this is another trick. Under those conditions, when motiva you're highly motivated and you, the demand is low, or you feel there's a saturation of number of Airbnb hosts out there, that's when you need to assume that Airbnb is hiding your listing and not presenting it. They're throttling the supply and demand to, to optimize the market. <laughs> That's an eye opener for you. So when it comes to smart pricing, Airbnb gives you a tip. It suggests what your nightly rate should be. And the more you move away from that, if you go higher than that, they're like, wow, you know, it's not such a good deal, according to them. And if you move below it, then becomes a screaming deal. They're basing their nightly rate that they think your place is worth. It's all artificial intelligence making the decisions. It's based on your location, your amenities, your design and appeal, and your reviews. So the artificial intelligence, that AI is cranking all those numbers, and they're making judgments about you and your listing. You as a host and your listing's quality Hey, is that stainless steel oven or is it just a regular oven? What's, what's the brand name? All those things that, that you need to fill out to tell it about your listing, hopefully to just justify a higher price. Now that's going to be a separate video and that's what I'm working on for my coaching and training programs. Hey, let me take a quick intermission. If you want me to keep doing things like this, if you want to encourage me, subscribe and hit the like button. To let me know to do more of this. Now you're desired nightly rate, even for extended stays, you just reduce it down to what it is per night, is likely going to be higher than what Airbnb predicts. Okay. Now getting them to line up is that's the trick. That's what we're going to be working on. I'll be coaching my students through that. On Now, the thing is the more distance between what they say your place is worth and what you want is the same degree to them hiding your listing. If the price you want is much higher than what the price that their artificial intelligence says your place deserves, then they're just gonna hide your listing because to them it's not high value, it's a bad deal, okay? So here we go, this is the experiment I did. I, I flipped on instant book, that was all I used to do and, and that wasn't working for me. I, I had some vacancies still. So the next thing I have to do is flip on smart pricing. And then I see, hey, I'm asking for $88. And, and down here, I circled in red, Airbnb's algorithm is saying, hey, try $59. Wow, that's, 
that's 32 percent less than what I want they're saying my listing is it a good deal they're saying my listing doesn't deserve at, at this point in the market $88 okay and since it doesn't deserve that amount they're not going to recommend me that <laughs> to that degree unless I do something about it okay so if I want their help I'm gonna have to bring it in line with what they're recommending so what I did is I priced it one dollar less than than there are priced at fifty-eight dollars. Remember, they said fifty-nine, so I priced at fifty-eight. I wanted to do this experiment, I, and then they recommended the maximum price. So I know they're not even going to get any <laughs> price me up at that. So uh, one hundred and seventy-eight dollars. All right. Now, now here's something I did. I always include the discounts because I want to them to know that I'm participating in their pricing. So I said, okay, three percent for a month and four percent for uh, longer than a month and that was a mistake and I'm going to show you that why in a second so I got a booking right away it was within a couple of days remember I said $58 but I had that 4% discount so that's where the 96% comes from and that's how we got $56 okay so the guy booked for 31 nights just for a month and um, got booked right away and, and that was helpful so here are the lessons learned let me summarize this for you now this is assuming that it's a, it's a tough time in the market and you have smart pricing on, okay? You, when demand is low, you should assume that Airbnb is deciding who's listening to hide. <laughs> who's listening to hide. And then the algorithm has an opinion and you should take its advice if you want them to help you, if you want them to promote you when, when the demand is low and times are tight and you should reduce your monthly discounts down to one percent if you're doing extended stays and, and that's what we're talking about midterm rentals and you'll earn less for sure but you'll get booked faster so that's what you need to know all right so if you want to make more income and reduce your expenses just subscribe